Come in, sit down. I don't know why I even fucking bothered doing this, but uh, um, before we begin, I would like to remind you all that we are two and ten. Yeah, yeah, two and ten. Two and ten coming into the game tomorrow. That should uh, keep you awake tonight. And if you happen to fall asleep, I hope you have nightmares of Tom Landry coming back from the dead. Wearing nothing but his hound's tooth hat, rubbing out a load on each of your big fucking foreheads. If that doesn't get you ready for the Cowboys tomorrow, nothing will. We have Eli back on the center tomorrow. Last week we all learned what it was like to be in the post-Eli era. But he's not done yet. I have an idea. I have an idea. Offensive line. Why don't you strap on some nutsack holders and block your fucking asses off tomorrow? Show Eli how much you appreciate him. Give him a chance to throw. Give the receivers time to run their patterns and get some separation. Give the running backs holes bigger than a mouse's rectum. Rectum? I thought I killed him. Eli, I love you. But if someone yells at you, don't, don't just drop the ball, okay? And if Sullivan calls two-yard pass plays on third and six, call an audible. Flip him the bird on the sideline and get us a fucking first down. Receivers, do not underestimate the Cowboys running game, even with Elliott being out. They have five excellent offensive linemen, and if we let them control the line of scrimmage, then pencil us in for two and 11 and tickle my nuts with a feather duster. We're at home, so that's good. We're at home because we've won so many games at home this year. My mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code, capital B-I-C, and took the under 42. She is 19-7 and 1 this year. At five large each bet. She's up some damn good coin so far. She said she likes the fact that the last giant cowboy games went under. I said, but... What do those games have to do with tomorrow's game? She said, listen to me. You try to figure out what these achooches are, are going to do. I, I, I don't know anymore. One a day, they look like a shit. Then they look like a, a really bigger shit. Then they, they win a game. And then they go back to looking like a different shit. Hey, folks. It is what it is. Bet at mybookie.ag. Don't bet at mybookie.ag. What do you want from me? How about some trivia? You want some trivia? Here's some trivia. Do you know where Dallas came up with the name Cowboys? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? No? Nobody? Because back in the day, people in Texas used to get drunk and go out and bang cows. But because their dicks weren't big enough, they were like, they were like boys. So these jerk-offs got their names from banging cows with small dicks. And if you can't beat boys with small dicks who bang cows, then you should take a hard look at yourselves in the mirror. And look down in your own pants. Are you all man enough to satisfy a cow? Well, are you? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Take a look. You have the rest of today and all of tomorrow morning to think about this game. What are each of you 
gonna do? What are each of your roles? How can we make a difference? How can you play as one unit? Both sides of the ball have to come ready to play. Just come ready to play. That's all I ask. Just come ready to play. I mean, do you pay for a whore and then think about your great great grandmother naked? No. You prepare for that moment by doing whatever you have to do to bang until you can't bang no more. Even if she looks like Fidel Castro eating a roast beef sandwich downstairs, if you know what I mean. You walk into that bedroom. You lay out your pepperoni stick and you yell, Hey, say hello to my little friend. Okay, that's it. Go do whatever it is you do. Go eat, go stretch, go look at film, go read a book, go read a map, go paint, go fuck yourselves, go felch, go get your peanut butter stirred, go squeeze out a steamer, I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care what the fuck you do. Just win tomorrow. That's all that matters now. Just fucking win. Look, boys, gentlemen, play hard every second. You never know when your number is called and you never get a chance to play in an NFL game again. Give me 100% and I will respect you. Give me less than 100% and I will give you an Alabama hot pocket. Now get out of my face, you fucking trumps. I'll see you cocksnuts tomorrow morning, okay? Go big. Blue. Get out, get out of my way, fucking piece of shit. Move.